All right, in this problem, they tell us that um, we have a graph here telling temperature, the temperature it was in a house, right, house temperature over time. And you can see the times down here, 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., and 5 p.m. Part A, the temperature in Jordan's house at 9 a.m. and at 5 p.m. was 65 degrees. Plot these points and then connect the points to complete the graph. All right. So here's 9 a.m., and this whole line up here represents the temperature at 9 a.m., right? We just need to pick the point that the temperature actually was. So at 9 a.m. and at 5 p.m., the temperature was 65. So here's the, the height of 65, and 9 a.m. meets there. So that has to be our temperature at 9 a.m. At 5 p.m., it's also at the same level. So now we just connect the dots, right? You would use a ruler here to do that. What was the approximate temperature in Jordan's house at 11 a.m.? So here's 11 a.m. Look up. There's the point. Notice it's a little bit above 60. And since 65 is all the way up here, if it was halfway between, that would be 62.5. So you could say approximately it's between right, 60 and 62.5 degrees. If that's not a good estimate, you can average that, kind of get the halfway point. You could say about 61, or about halfway between, which is about 61 degrees. Uh, that's, that's a pretty reasonable assumption um, for the reading at the, of the temperature at 11 a.m., because we're not exactly sure where it is. But again, you, you just look at how far this increment is. That's 5 degrees. Halfway is a little bit higher. And halfway between 60 and 65 is, well, 62 and a half degrees. And this point isn't halfway. It's less than that. So it's probably closer to 61. All right, hope that helped.